In the book of Acts, the Bible talks about baptism. In the book of Acts, the Bible over the doors. Baptism in the New Testament. There's a baptism that was for Jews who had rejected Jesus Christ. And therefore, when they had found out that Christ was the Messiah, they were baptized. Before they could be baptized, they had to believe and accept Jesus as Messiah. En voordat zij gedoopt konden worden, moesten ze Jezus erkennen als de Messias. Therefore they will be baptized in Jesus name. Daarom werden ze gedoopt in Jezus naam. Under the Father, Son and Holy Ghost. Onder de Vader, Zoon en Heilige Geest. Now Jesus gave the disciples. Jezus gaf de discipelen. The command that in Matthew chapter 28. Het gebod in Matthäus 28, 19 en 20. Vers 19, 19 en 20. Hij zei: Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Ga dan heen en leer alle volken tot mijn discipelen. Baptizing them. En doopt hen. In the name of the Father. In de naam des Vaders. And of the Son. En des Zoons. And of the Holy Ghost. En des Heilige Geestes. This is the order of the Godhead. Dit is de volgorde van de Godheid. Contrary to what some are te teaching. Uh, tegengesteld dat als wat een aantal leren. It is not Trinity. Geen uh, drie eenheid. The Trinity is not in the scriptures. Het woord drie eenheid zelf vind je niet in de schrift. It is Godhead. Maar de Godheid. Godhead is mentioned three times in the scriptures. Godheid, het woord Godheid vind je drie maal in de schrift. And it's a totally different terminology when you go look up what Trinity means and what Godhead means. And the term is kind of all about forskillings, but the thing is, one has its origin from the Word of God; the other has its origin in pagans. Want the one has its origin in the Word of God, and the other in the Heidenen. Therefore, we use the word Godhead. Daarom gebruiken we het woord Godheid. So here we read in Acts 9, chapter 8. In Handelingen 8. Now the Bible says in verse 29, the Spirit said to Philip, "Go near and join thyself to this chariot." Dus vers 29 en de geest zei dit tot Philip, spring toe en voeg u bij deze wagen. Now what was he doing? He was greeting the Ethiopian eunuch who was on a mission for the Queen of Candace. En hij leidde dus die Natalie. And as a result of that, the unit was reading the book of Isaiah. And was I the prophet Isaiah? He was reading Isaiah probably 53. And Philip ran thither, verse 30, and heard him and read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understand it what thou. Understanding thou what thou readest. And Philip was to leap snel erheen en hoorde hem de profeet Jezaja lezen en zei: De verstand gij wat gij leest. And he said, How can I accept some man should guide me? En hij zei: Hoe zou ik dit kunnen als niet iemand mij de weg wijst? He desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. En hij verzocht Philip eens in te stappen en naast hem te komen zitten. The place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. And like a lamb dumb before his shearers. So he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. 
Ik heb het niet erin, maar het is mijn oordeel weggenomen. En wie zal declare his generation, for his life is taken from the earth. Wie zal zijn afkomst verhalen, want zijn leven wordt van de aarde weggenomen. En de Ethiopian eunuch, I mean, in the eunuch answered. En de kamerling antwoordde en zeide tot Filippus. En zei: I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet? This of himself or some other man? Ik vraag u, van wie zegt de profeet dit? Van zichzelf of van iemand anders? Now don't you notice that before this man is being baptized, voordat deze man gedoopt wordt, he is taking a Bible study. Krijgt hij Bijbelstudie? And he got sent his disciple Philip. En God zal zijn uh, dienstknecht Philippus om hem die studie te geven. Indicating that people should be taught. Om te laten zien dat mensen les moeten krijgen. Before they are baptized. Voordat zij gedoopt worden. Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached Jesus. En Philippus opende zijn mond en uitgaande van dat schriftwoord predikte hij hem Jezus. And as they went on their way, their way, they came to a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doeth hinder me to be baptized? And terwijl zij onderweg waren, kwamen zij bij een water, en de kamerling zeide, Zie, daar is water. Wat is er tegen dat ik gedoopt word? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, En hij zeide, In wie ik ga van ganse hart gedoopt worden? Is het geoordeeld? En ik zeg tegen de kandidaten. Als je met je hele hart en met je hele hart gelooft. Als je met je hele hart gelooft. Listen carefully. That it says, it goes on and says here. And it says, it says here, and he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. En hij antwoordde en zeide: Ik geloof dat Jezus Christus de Zoon van God is. That was the present truth for that time. Dat was de tegenwoordige waarheid voor die tijd. Because Christ had come as Messiah. Omdat Christus gekomen was als Messias. And in, for the most part, the people had his nation, the Jewish nation, had rejected. En het grootste deel van de Joodse natie had hem verworpen. But as many as will believe on him. Maar zoveel als in hem geloven. He gave power to the Voor hen geeft hij de kracht om kinderen van God te worden. Today he's giving you en vandaag geeft hij jullie. Not just a baptism, niet alleen voor de dood. The power. Maar kracht. Power to live his life. Kracht om zijn leven te power leven. To have victory over sin. Om, om de overwinning te behalen over power de zonde. Power to develop Christ-like character. Kracht, macht om een, een karakter zoals Jezus te ontwikkelen. And power for all of you to become missionaries, ministers, evangelists and teachers of en, the gospel. En macht om zendelingen, leraars en predikers van de waarheid te worden. And all you must learn also medical missionary work. En ieder van jullie moet ook all medisch zendelijk werk leren. All of you. <coughs> right? I'm just telling you ahead of time. After your baptism, you should learn these things. Because you have work to do. You have souls to save. You have people to pray for. Young people like yourselves. Some older in years. The only Jesus they're going to ever see. De enige Jezus die zij gaan zien, is Christus in jullie. That will tell more than any sin. En dat gaat meer vertellen dan welke zin ook. And they see the love of God draw in you with that. Als zij de liefde van God in jullie zien, many will come to Jesus desiring the same love and peace. Dan komen velen tot Jezus omdat ze dezelfde liefde en vrede van God willen hebben. But we live in a broken world. Want we leven in een gebroken wereld. Lives are broken. Marriages are broken. Ja, levens zijn gebroken. Huwelijken zijn gebroken. And the only person that can heal. En de enige die dat kan genezen. Is Jesus. Is Jesus. And you have to be a light. En jullie moeten een licht zijn voor Jezus. I'm going to ask you.
you a few questions. We went over more than this. We went over more than more than 13 vowels, but we went over a lot. This is just a generality. Dit is een uittreksel van alle punten waar we doorheen zijn gegaan. Historie. Do you believe? Geloof je? In God the Father. In God the Father. And His Son, Jesus Christ. In zijn zoon Jezus Christus. And the Holy Spirit. En de Heilige Geest. Do you? Right, you can stand. You have to stand. Do you accept the death of Jesus Christ on Calvary as the atoning sacrifice for sin? For the sins of men, and believe that through faith in His shed blood, men are saved from sin and its penalty. En geloof je dat door het geloof in zijn vergoten bloed mensen gered worden van de zonde en zijn straf? Do you renounce? Now listen carefully. If you have any reservation, you speak now. Als je enige reservatie hebt of je bent er niet mee eens, dan mag je nu ook het mee zeggen. You can take off your baptismal robe and wait. En dan mag je ook wachten. Until you are ready to walk with Jesus. Do you understand? I am not. I am not just wanting to put you in the water. I want to make sure that I'm putting in people who want Jesus in their lives. I don't want a lot of people. God doesn't want a lot of people. God wants converted people. Do you renounce the world and his sinful way and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and that God for Christ's sake has forgiven your sins and given you a new en dat God om Christus wil je zonde vergeven heeft en je een nieuw hart heeft gegeven. Right? Does anybody want to take off their robe? Right. Okay. Now, once you put on the you put the robe, this is an outward garment. This is an an outward clothes. The robe that you wear very spiritually. Maar het kleed wat je werkelijk geestelijk draagt. It starts with this day. Start with belief. Die vandaag begint als je gelooft. Is Christ right? Is Christus gerechtigheid? And you don't let nobody. En niemand. Nobody. Niemand. Take that role off you. Je mag dat stelen van je. Okay. You accept by faith the righteousness of Christ. Accepteer je door het geloof de gerechtigheid van Christus. Recognizing him as your intercessor. En herken je hem als jouw middelaar. Do you? In het Engels, ja. Do you believe that the Pope is your intercessor? Geloof je dat de Pope je middelaar is? All right, I want to make sure you understand. In the head, right, Christ is your intercessor in the heavenly sanctuary. Christus is je middelaar in het hemels heiligdom. And claim his promises to strengthen you by the indwelling of the Spirit, so that you can receive power to do his will. En leg je beslag op zijn belofte om je te sterken door zijn geest, dat je kracht krijgt om zijn wil te doen. All right. Do you do you believe that the Bible is God's inspired word? Not some of the Bible. Not a deal from the Bible. Not your favorite passage from the Bible. And not your favorite Bible. But the whole Bible. From Genesis to Revelation. To the opening and the end. You believe that this is God's inspired word, okay? And that it constitutes the only rule of faith and practice for the Christian. And that it's the only basis is. Regel is van geloof en uitleven voor de Christen. Leer dat? Oké. All right. Do you accept the Ten Commandments as still binding upon the Christian? Accepteer je de Ten Geboden als nog steeds bindend voor de Christen? And this is your purpose by the power of the indwelling Christ to keep the His law, keep this law, including the Fourth Commandment, which requires the service of the Seventh Day Sabbath. En is dit je doel door de kracht van de Christus? 
van binnen om zijn wet te houden, inclusief het vierde gebod die vraagt dat je de zevende dag van de week heiligt als de Sabbat van de Heer. Right? Now, do you believe that the Ten Commandments is only on stones? Geloof je dat de Ten Commandments alleen op steen staan? Do you believe that? Geloof je dat? No. Good. Where is the Ten Commandments written? In the heart, the mind. Right? I hear. I hear. Hear. All right. All right. All right. All right. The soon coming of Jesus. Now, if they never taken Bible studies, they couldn't ask that question. So that the questions could be answered if they had not taken Bible studies. That shows they've been studying. Let's hear it. It says, "The soon coming of Jesus is a blessed hope. Is the soon coming of Jesus a blessed hope in your heart?" In the soon coming of Jesus, there is a blessed hope in your heart. Okay. All right. And do you determine to personally be ready to meet the Lord? And do all in your power to witness to His loving salvation by your life and the word of, and the word <coughs> to uh, help others to be ready for His glorious appearing. And have you besloten om persoonlijk uh, bereid te zijn om de Heer te ontmoeten en alles in jouw macht te doen om te getuigen van zijn liefhebbende redding uh, en dat je door je leven en je woorden anderen helpt om klaar te zijn. Do you accept the biblical teachings of spiritual gifts? And do you believe the gift of prophecy? Do you believe that the gift of prophecy in the Remnant Church is one of the identifying marks of that church? Accepteer je de Bijbelse leren van de geestelijke gaven en geloof je dat de gaven van profetie in de gemeente van het overblijfsel een van de kenmerkende dingen is van die gemeente? Do you believe also that God has given each of you at least one spiritual gift? Maybe the gift of teaching, it could be the gift of preaching, it could be the gift of hospitality. So you at least know you should have at least one. Alright. That way, you, when you finish after your baptism, you won't be sitting around saying, "I don't know what the world wants me to do." You will use your spiritual gift. That's what you better do. Dus na je doop, kijk je naar de gaven die God je gegeven heeft, en dan ga je niet zeggen van, "Ik weet niet wat ik moet doen met zo'n woord," maar God heeft mensen in gaven gegeven. Number nine. You will, do you believe that God's remnant church on earth is organized for service and for the proclamation of the everlasting gospel of Revelation 14, 6 through 12? Geloof je dat God's overblijvende gemeente op aarde georganiseerd is voor dienstbaarheid en voor de verkondiging van het eeuwige evangelie zoals dat staat in openbaring 14, vers 6 tot 12? Okay, can you tell me what Revelation 14, 6 through 12 is called? Hoe heet dat deze boodschap in Openbaring 14, vers 6 tot 12? Ah, de vrede is best. Oké, vrede. Vrede is best. Heel goed. So when you have a good baptismal vow, you ask questions from the vow, but you also ask questions to see if they really know. Ja, dus je hebt niet alleen de vragen, maar ook kijk of ze het begrepen hebben. Do you believe that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? That you live from the temple of the Holy Spirit. All right. Okay. Okay. That's the last question. All right. And that you will honor God by caring for your body. And that you will care to your soul to the God before you live from. This would include the eight laws of health. This would be taken to account of the eight natural conditions. Okay, and abstain from all unclean things. The use of manufactured sale of alcohol beverages and tobacco. Also from caffeine. And finally coffee and black tea. And you have to be careful with some green tea as well. <laughs> all right. And it says also, uh, since he had all forms of food consumption, drug abuse, drugs, narcotics, marijuana, smoking, all of it. And also, drugs, marijuana, and all of it. I said marijuana because it's under narcotics, okay? 
okay. and drugs. Yeah. Right? And you also stand, promise to stay from worldly amusements. En je belooft je ook weg te blijven van werelds amusement. Dancing. Dansen. Party, clubs. Party in clubs. You know and understand that these biblical principles. Je kent en begrijpt de Bijbelse principes. And is it your purpose by the grace of God to order your life in harmony with these principles? And is it your doel door de genade van God om je leven in harmonie te brengen met deze principes? Okay. Do you accept in the New Testament the teachings of baptism by worship? Accepteer je de nieuwe testamentische leer van de onderdompeling? And to be baptized, and is it your desire to be baptized as a public expression? And is it your wish to be baptized as a public expression? And is it your wish to be baptized as a public expression? Of an inward change, from an inward transformation, through your faith in Jesus Christ and the forgiveness of your sins. Through your faith in Christ and the forgiveness of your sins. Okay. Last one. The last one. You recognize? Do you recognize that Jesus Christ? Do you claim that Jesus Christ is your Lord of your life? Erken je Jezus als de Heer van je leven? And the head of the body. En de hoofd van het lichaam. The body meaning the Christian church. De Christelijke gemeente. And he should have preeminence in all things. En dat hij de eerste plaats heeft in alle dingen. Concerning your life. Dat betreft je leven. All right. And by the way, Sister Madison, do you also? Uh, Promise to abstain from <coughs> and other uh, cosmetics and that not becoming a safe for Christians. Cosmetica and juvenile afterlife, what not worth by the Christian. Yes, that, that including uh, ring ring ring. <laughs> All right and. I'm just telling you straight up. Because listen. When a person not, when you're not in Christ, I understand a person having opposition to some of the things we're saying. But the Bible says the carnal mind is not subject to the law of God, and it indeed can be. Want de vleeselijke gedachten zijn niet onderworpen aan Gods wet en kunnen dat ook niet. But that which is spiritual must be discerned by spiritual things. Maar geestelijke dingen moeten geestelijk onderscheiden worden. The rings that God wants you to wear. De ringen die God wil dat je draagt. Is the ring of love and faith. Is is de ring van van geloof. You get the hell of it. You have all the gold you want. Van Gods woord. En in 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 de hemel heb je al het goud wat je wil hebben. If you won't wear it, you'll walk on it. Maar dan draag je het niet, maar je wandelt erop. That's right. You'll be sitting on it. Dan kun je erop zitten. Right now, God is concerned about redeeming you. Maar God wil je nu redden. Restoring His image in you. En zijn beeld in jou herstellen. That water has no magic in it. Want het water zelf heeft geen magie. There's no power in that water. Er is geen kracht in dat water zelf. The power is the power of the Holy Spirit. Maar de kracht is die van de Heilige Geest. Who is supposed to be with you and in you as of right now? Die met je en in je moet zijn zelfs nu. The miracle that God performed. Het wonder dat God heeft gedaan. Is that you made the decision to follow Jesus. Is dat jij een beslissing hebt genomen om Jezus te volgen. En dat Hij je een nieuw hart geeft. That's the greatest miracle God performed. That is the greatest wonder that God has done. Some people want to see some great feat. Some people want to see a great feat done. They want to see a great feat done. Some great miracle. Yeah, they want a great wonder seen. The greatest miracle that can happen to a human being. But the greatest wonder that a man can do is to have a new heart. Is to have a new heart to get a new heart. And they have the influence. And the leeftijd to have. That cigarettes. Dat sigaretten, drugs, drugs, sex, sex, fun, amusement, games, kennis, 
sports, sports, movies, films cannot fill. Niet kunnen vullen. It's a deep emptiness in the heart. Deze een leegte in de hart. When it's not filled, people want to commit suicide. Dat als mensen dat niet gevuld zien, dan kunnen ze zelf moord plegen. Have everything they want in life. Ze kunnen alles hebben in het leven. And empty. En toch zijn ze leeg. The miracle. Het wonder is that Jesus is that Jesus has, is the only one the enige is that can fill that void. Die kan vullen. And he has done it for you. And that he has for you for that. Don't take your eyes off him. And let your open eyes on him. Don't turn away from the word of God. And keep you not away from the word of God. Lay it up in your heart. Bear it in your heart. Ask him to give you love. Om je face of opposition. Als je met tegenstand toeneemt. Vraag hem om je geduld te geven. Als familieleden. En anderen. Die je wel lief hebt. Maar die jou verkeerd behandelen. En je bespotten. En jouw godsdienst. En ik zeg dat omdat jullie jong zijn. En je weet nog niet alles. Maar ik ben langer in deze wereld geweest dan jullie. En word niet geïntimideerd door ze. Maar ga ook niet argumenteren en discussiëren met ze. Als die momenten komen, ga naar je kamer. Close the door. Do the door dicht. And if your heart gets broke. And as your heart breaks. Or if you're troubled by what was said. Omdat je, ja, omdat je je slecht voelt over dat wat je, wat je gezegd is. To God for that person. Bid dan tot God voor die persoon. And ask God to take away your pain. And ask Him to take away your pain. In asking to give you a right heart, right disposition. En om je de juiste houding te schenken. En ga dan terug. En doe alsof ze het nooit hebben gezegd tegen je. En behandel ze zoals Jezus dat van je zou willen zien. In andere woorden. Wees een christen. Wat er ook komen mag. Want je werk en je opoffering is niet voor niets. Laten we bidden. Nou, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. We ask thee for the presence of your Holy Spirit now. We ask thee for the presence of your Holy Spirit now. To take these candidates into the watery grave. Help them to die to self and sin. Help them to die to self and sin. Help them to rise and experience a continual feeling of your Holy Ghost and a new life. May your name be glorified. Mogen uw naam geëerd worden en verlicht. En we geven alle eer aan u. Dank u voor anderen die met hen hebben gewerkt. Dank u voor de opoffering die een aantal hebben gemaakt om de Bijbelstudie te geven. Dank u voor de gebeden van moeders en vaders. Pray that their child will be converted. Die gebeden hebben dat hun kind zich zou bekeren. Now keep them in your care. Wilt u hen in uw zorg bewaren? And let them never be plucked out by hand. En dat ze nooit geplukt mogen worden uit uw hand. Now walk with us. Wilt u hen ook gaan? And baptize them for your glory. En hen dopen voor uw naam eer. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen.
But now, Lord, she's only going to confirm her work, her, her trust to walk in your ways. And we pray for her daughter. For Omega. For Genesis, Genesis. Omega. That you will bless this child. Dat u dit kind mag zegenen met gezondheid en kracht. We pray that the angels of God will always watch over her wherever she's at. En dat de engelen van God over haar zullen waken waar ze ook is. And we ask, Father, that you will keep her. Wij vragen, Vader, dat u haar zult vasthouden. Until the day of Christ's return. Tot op de dag dat Christus wederkomt. Her and her brother. Haar en haar broer. And her other brother and sister. En haar andere broer en zus. We pray, Father, be with all her children. But bless this child. And we thank you for this. And we give her into thy hands. And we pray that she will grow in grace. And in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for hearing our prayer. And we thank you for receiving this child. En dat u dit kind heeft ontvangen. You knew her before she was born. Want u kende haar al voordat ze geboren werd. You have a destiny for her life. En u heeft een doel met haar leven. We thank you for her. Wij danken u daarvoor. To the blood of Christ. Voor het bloed van Christus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' naam. Keep his mother, keep our mother. Houd ook die moeder. And her. En haar. And her brother. En haar broer. Brother, her bigger brother and sister. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's not a moment that we will uh, proceed to the pool. Uh, currently, if the candidate is now on the room, and then we all can follow the group. And then we will further focus and open up. Very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. From the waters lifted me, now saved am I. Love lifted me, love lifted me, when nothing else could help, love lifted me, love lifted me, love lifted me. Jesus completely saves, he will lift you by his love out of the angry waves. He's the master of the sea, bellows his will obey. He's your savior, wants to be, be saved today. Could help. Love lifted me. Love lifted me. Love lifted me. When nothing else could help. Love.
Hey. <coughs> Maktou, because you have decided to give your life to Jesus Christ, and that he has given you a new heart, and that you can be born again, because of this, Maktou, the Lord Jesus loves you, and he has a wonderful life in store for you here and for a world to come. And that you be part of that new heaven and new earth where you will see him daily, face to face. Until that day, by faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yana, because you have given your life to Jesus, and you have sought to walk in the newness of life, he has given you a new heart. Now by baptism, through faith in his righteousness, you do this in public expression of an inward change. I now baptize you, Yana, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Okay. Ja, 
Yael, because you're giving your life to Christ, you made a decision to follow him, to study his word, to understand your call in his life. Through the prayers of your family members, and relatives, and your own desires, to follow Jesus with all your heart, mind, and soul, and to keep God's commandments, and to carry his word to the whole world. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Samuel Adams, because you've heard the call of the Holy Spirit upon your life and sought to give your heart to Christ, I will now baptize you, understanding that you have a call. Your call is to carry the gospel to all the world, to teach, to preach, to learn God's will constantly and to teach others and to prepare people to meet God. Samuel Adams, right? Yes. Because you made this decision, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Always been there. He was baptized in June this year. Uh -huh. So this is the, this is, the, this is your, your, all your boys. You got any more? Uriel, Uriel, Uriel. Uriel, I have to just pause for a minute because I remember two years ago. Ecuador. He had a big afro like this. <laughs> and he was uh, studying his Bible and working with us. And we never knew what would happen. After he left Ecuador, his brother called me and said his brother was studying the Bible. And I tell you, we started thanking God and started praying more. To see him come to this point is a miracle. My prayer is that you will grow in grace, become stronger, and become an able-bodied worker for God in His cause and carry His message and be an example to others. Amen. 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 Amen.
Muriel, Lord, thank you for all your mercies. Muriel, because you have made a decision to follow the Lord Jesus Christ, and you've given your life to him, and you've already started in acts of service, wherever your weaknesses are, we pray that God will strengthen you and help you become a full, able-bodied worker and an example to your brethren. And that you will carry the gospel to all the world, to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people, with the three angels' message. Amen. We ask now, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. time to rededicate yourself to Christ. Is there anyone like that here today? If it's your desire to renew your covenant with God and your vows, this is your moment. I make this appeal because we never know when we will not have another baptism, especially in public. We know days are coming when these things will not be so. While mercy pleads, and while Christ is our great high priest in the most holy place of the heavenly sanctuary, I make this appeal and ask, is there anyone else who wants to renew their covenant with God today by baptism? <coughs> you want to do it? All right? Okay. Anyone else? Go we close. Okay, you already know most of the things, right? You want to recommit your covenant by baptism. All right, well, when you get your robe, you can come. Like, right now. Right now? Yeah. All right. Okay. Amen. All right? Amen. All right. Uh, can you get him some plant? Can you just get him something to put, give him a robe right quick? And you all need to sing a few songs. Sing a few songs while you change. Danny Mace. Nace. Danny Nace. Because you have made a decision to follow the Lord Jesus Christ with all your mind, heart, and soul, and you recognize that He has called you for such a time as this to carry the everlasting gospel into all the world, to preach, to teach, and to instruct others, and to save souls. And it's your desire to renew your covenant with God and your vows before Him. Danny Nace, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.
You have made a decision to follow Jesus with all your mind, heart, and soul. Yes. Yeah. And to live for Him. Yeah. Yeah. To learn His word and share with us. Yeah. To be ready for His second coming. Yes. Yeah. Eric, because you have made a decision to follow Jesus with all your mind, heart, and soul, and it's your desire to be ready when He comes a second time, knowing that He shall come, will come, and will not tarry. Eric, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Because you have chosen to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Omdat je besloten hebt de Heer Jezus aan te aanvaarden. You've heard his call upon your life. En je hebt zijn roeping op je in je leven aanvaard. Through the prayers of family. En door gebeden van familieleden. You have made a decision for him. Heb jij een besluit genomen voor Christus? Now God calls you to learn His word. En God heeft je geroepen om zijn woord te leren. And to learn it well enough where you can teach and share with us. En dat je het goed genoeg leert om het te delen met anderen. Take this gospel to all the world. En het evangelie naar alle uithoeken van de wereld te brengen. others what you have learned. En anderen te leren wat jij hebt and geleerd. Prepare people for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. En een volk voor te bereiden op de spoedige komst van Christus. For he that shall come will come. Want hij die komen zal zal komen. Will not tarry. En hij zal niet sluimeren. Monaf. Monaf. I now baptize you. Je wordt gedoopt in de naam. In the name of the Father. Van de Vader. And of the Son. Van de Zoon. And of the Holy Ghost. And from the Holy Ghost. <laughs> is anyone else here that needs to give their life to Jesus? I pray that today you will do it. If you're not going to be baptized today, that's okay. But at least you should today. 
Decide that you want to know to get closer to Jesus and get ready for his coming. The world we live in cannot continue much longer in this state. The world we live in cannot continue much longer in this state. And there's a new heaven and a new earth coming. And a new heaven and a new earth coming. A new world is coming. A new world comes. One day there'll be no more death. Op een dag zal er geen dood meer zijn. No more sorrow. Geen pijn. No more crying. Geen leed en verdriet. And this is this terrible experiment of sin. En deze pijnlijke ervaring van de zonde. Will one day end. Zal op een dag eind worden. And there will be a world. En er zal een wereld zijn. Where we will never have to fear again. Waar we nooit meer hoeven te vrezen. One day. Op een dag. We're going to see it. Zullen we het zien. It's going to be just as real as what we're looking at right now. But no crime. Maar geen huilen meer. No violence. Geen geweld. None of the things we experienced out there. I pray. And I bid. And we all will be there. That we all there will be. Because John 3:16 was true. Want Johannes 3 vers 16 is waar. Achtig. God so loved the world. Want God heeft de wereld zo lief gehad. That He gave His only begotten Son. Dat Hij zijn enige geboren Zoon gaf. That whosoever believeth in Him should not perish. Omdat de ieder die in Hem gelooft niet But have everlasting life. Maar eeuwig leven hebben. But God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world. Want God heeft zijn Zoon niet in de wereld gezonden om de wereld te redden. But that the world through Him might be saved. Maar dat de wereld door Hem gered mag worden. May God help us. God ons verhelpen. Make our call. While we yet have breath and life, nu we nog adem en leven hebben, and be ready to meet Jesus. En we gereed zijn om Jezus te ontmoeten. God bless you. God u mag zegenen. We'll see you inside for the meeting and for the message. En we zien u binnen voor de boodschap. Let's have a word of prayer. Laten we een woord van gebed hebben. Father in heaven. Father in de hemel. We give you praise, honor, and glory for those who made a decision for baptism. We give you thank, honor, and heerlijkheid for the people who decided to be baptized. We ask that there are others. And we ask that the others. You know when they should make that decision. Die dat besluit nog moeten nemen. If they don't make it here, then let them make it at their churches. But let them make the decision for Christ. Dat ze als het hier niet gemaakt hebben, later wel zullen maken. And that they may be partakers of your righteousness. En dat ze deelnemers van uw gerechtigheid worden. And they will experience justification and sanctification. En dat ze gerechtigheid en heilig now, Father, we thank you for this. And we give you all the praise. And we give you all the praise and honor. All the honor. All the honor and honor. And all the glory. And all the glory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. And for His sake. And for the sake of Him. To the most holy place, we direct our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thanks, man. Keep smiling.